traditional shotgun and Sunday school Don't really care what you think Cause I've been asking around and you know what I found Cause most of us believe the same things And I won't conform, my mind ain't gonna change I'm just like concrete, I'm all mixed up and set in my way Hey YouTube, how's it going? Pedro Piper here. I haven't talked to you guys in a few days. Uh, been pretty under the weather. Uh, if you recall in my last video, I mentioned that I had a sore throat. It was bothering me and uh, I thought it was from possibly overdoing it. I thought I smoked too much maybe. Well, it only got worse and worse and worse. Until uh, eventually, a couple days ago, I had throbbing headache, throbbing earache, whole left side of my jaw was sore, basically the entire left side of my head was just constantly throbbing in pain. And we all have one, of, we all have one of those co-workers that go, that's like, oh, you got this. Well, the lady at work was like, you got a sinus infection. So I went to the doctor and got checked out. And well, actually, it was like the minute clinic at the pharmacy, and uh, oh, it went out. And she checks me out, and she's like, Well, she's like, she didn't think it sounded like a sinus infection, so she checks me out, checked my ears, said my ears looked fine, checked my throat. And she asked me, she says, is, if, is the pain in your throat like your whole throat or just on the left side of your throat? I said, it's just the left side. And she said, well, she told me it looked like I had a, uh, a canker sore on the top of my throat on the left side in the, far, in the left corner of my throat. And she said, this is probably what's causing you the pain. And I had been, I'd been on a strict diet of honey and tea and honey and chicken soup for most of the week so it was but I was still in a lot of pain so basically she prescribed me some over-the-counter stuff gave me a, a allergy steroid spray for my nose and ibuprofen she said take that it'll be fine well so I did that that was yesterday morning lo and behold today I feel right as rain no pain nothing Still doing, still taking the medication for a few days to make sure, but other than that, I feel fine. So, because I feel fine and I don't feel like crap, I was able to get some work done today. Um, I was didn't, I was not up to doing anything at all all week long. Nothing got done. So today, I'm coming to you from the other side of my table. In the arts and crafts corner, what is that? Uh oh, is that a is that a gaw prize right there? I think it could be. Let's take a look at it. All right, cut you off, reposition it, and then we'll uh, we'll come down here at the, to the table. And we'll take a look at it. All right, guys. So here is the first completed prize. It is a pipe roll. Um, I know the table is really messy here, but hey, I've been doing work. This is what it looks like. So, let's get into this. This pipe roll is made out of uh, four weight, or I'm sorry, four ounce suede. Now, those of you that don't know, the thickness of leather is measured by in ounces. Um, so, this, like I said, this is four ounce suede. So it's really thick, but it's really soft, really, really pliable. Um, I like working with, with stuff like this, especially for projects like this. It just gives it that kind of rustic-y feel, rustic-y look. Um, so I really like this stuff and I think this, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. So let's go ahead and get it open here. show you here get this out of the way you 
There she is, boys and girls. <laughs> Try to darken this up a little bit so you're not like totally blinded. Okay, so what do we have here? So over here, so like I said, it's all made, it's all suede. The the darker here is again, it's a four ounce suede. I used uh, antique copper rivets um, all the way around with matching snap here. Over here, this pocket is big, is for your tobacco. As you can see, you can put a pouch in there and some pipe cleaners. You could put a baggie in there. Uh, I didn't test it. Probably should have, but I didn't. But it w was theoretically, no, nope, not, not gonna hold that. But, so it won't hold a, a round tin, but it'll hold, it'll hold a pouch of tobacco um, just fine. Right here, you got a slot for your pipe, and but and this will hold. So I've got a straight shank here, fits just fine. Got a good old fashioned bent cob, fits. Got another round because this is diamond shank. I got another straight shank pipe, fits just fine. I've got a nice bent right here. Again, that also fits just fine. You know you can. It'll fit. It's not not gonna fall out. Not gonna get any gunk in your mouthpiece. And then right here we've got your check tool, um, or you could use, you know, you could put whatever tamper you use will fit in there. Here we got a spot for your Zippo. So Zippo fit in there just fine, just nice and snug as a bug in a rug. It'll also accommodate like uh, any 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 style of pipe lighter that you have will fit in there. Your big, and if you're like Mr. OTC Piper and you like to use matches, box of matches will fit in there just fine. Over here, it'll snap. Pop that off. Got your pipe holder, set that up, bam. Everything you need in one handy location. And then, as you saw, you just fold the flap over. Give it a little tuck and a fold and a roll. Your suede strap right here is again riveted in. It's not going anywhere. Give it a few wraps. Make sure you get it good and tight. Just like that. Tuck that under there, pull her tight. Boom, there it is. All right, you know, what, what can I say? This is handmade quality shit we're talking here. Alright. Okay guys, so that's prize number one for the grand prize. Um, I did order the other, some of the other prizes uh, yesterday. So they should be in beginning of the week sometime, hopefully. And when they come in, I'll show you. Um, I still have to make the pipe rack that actually I've got I've got all the pieces for that cut out as just a matter of assembly at this point um, oh in case you're wondering I'm smoking I'm just smoking out of my little uh, Missouri Meerschaum hardwood here um, and I'm smoking some half and half I'm really liking that stuff um, Pretty pretty good stuff um, for being a uh, relatively inexpensive, uh, you know, p uh, blend. I'm I'm really 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 liking it. Um, anyways, so like I said, more prizes are on the way, um, and as I as I make the other prizes. I will, uh, I'll show them to you. 
So, I'm going to try to do some more work today. Maybe I'll have another video for you tonight. Who knows. But, uh, for now, as always, have a great day. Pleasant evening. I'm the Patriot Piper. See you next time. Later.